Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by the support of Andrew Cole. Thank you, sir, for being awesome. Hello guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. We're at Menards, where we're getting ready to build a wall. Some assembly required. The lumber pile has made it home. Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 6-14, 2019 at 1550 hours. And this is my hole. I have a steel beam, a concrete wall, a concrete floor, a steel beam in the middle, another steel beam in the middle. These two hold up the staircase. And I got a I gotta build a wall. So that's my job. I'm gonna go to this first steel beam today. This is my first section of wall. And I got some womanized for direct contact to the floor. And uh, I gotta do some creative mounting up there. So I'm gonna start building a wall. And we have one working time lapse camera over here, live stream camera up there. You could be tuned in watching this. And I have one questionable, might be working time lapse camera over here. I'm not 100%. This camera sucks. Don't buy that. Um, so, yeah. How do I get to work? Hi there, guys. I'm working on building a wall in the basement. And uh, I had a cool thing I came across, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. I have to bolt a 2x4 to the bottom of a big steel beam. Now, this wall won't be load-bearing. The beam is bearing the load. So I just need to have this on here, and it has to be nice, straight, square, plumb and true, and all that. So I figured I'd take a minute and show you guys my way of doing this. Now, this may not be the best way, but it's the best I've ever come across. Now, I'm lucky in this case because somebody had a wall here before. And for just doing these couple of screws, I'll take you through the process. The reason I'm lucky is somebody else went through the fun job of drilling holes through the bottom of the beam. And I've got a hole here and here, and they're both about a quarter inch. So I have, thanks to TJ, this awesome right angle drive. So I can drill right through here. I'm going to have to stretch out these holes just a little bit. Oh, that's crunchy. It means we're all also right at the end. All right, now we're past the steel. In case you're wondering why that took so much effort, this spins really slow, and this is an old used drill bit, and, well, it's about as sharp as I had in my dick, so, yeah. And yes, I am doing this on an angle, because you'll understand, but these, these aren't supposed to be vertical holes. They, the original hole in the beam is way out here. I'd have put it back a ways, but this is what I'm working with, so. Okay. So now we have holes in the right spot, and they go through. Now these holes go in on an angle. They're, they're, not, they're not vertical. They're kicked back a bit, and this is why. So what we're going to start with is we have a quarter 20 bolt, which is plenty big for this, because I'm not trying to bolt the wall up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to control the wall moving this way. I want to make sure the top is not going to move laterally. So I have, this is called a torque washer, and it's like a T-nut with a square hole inside. And that square hole, this is sized for a quarter inch, perfectly fits the square hole in my carriage bolt. So now, when I put the carriage bolt up from the inside, and it just peeks out the top. And this is why we had to have our holes on an angle, because I need to be able to fit this space inside the wall. And we just grab a hammer. Just give that a little love tap, hold it in there. 
Now, now we put, so that won't leave, put a washer on top, and I'm using a nylock. You don't have to, but I am. It's a wall. I like to have some sense of permanence to it. And normally, if I didn't have the torque washer, this would be really hard to do. You'd have to have pliers and be a pain in the butt. But with the torque washer, as long as I keep one finger in there to keep that lined up, now I can ratchet right down on the nylock, and my carriage bolt won't spin in the hole. And we'll just wrench this right on down. Yeah, that's, wow, that's super tight. And that is the way. There's a lot faster, easier ways. You can do this with a ram set. Yes, into steel. You use the number fives and it'll go into a steel beam. But this is absolutely the most time-consuming way that I know of to do this. But it's also the best. Like, that's, that's perfect and that's forever. And I'm happy with it. So that's how I bolt a wall to a beam. Now you know. You need a quarter 20 bolt, a quarter 20 or a quarter inch torque washer is what those are called, which is just a T-nut without the nut. A quarter 20 nylock nut, a small quarter inch washer, um, and a 7 16 soccer wrench. Hammer, drill, off you go. So yeah, that's how it's done. You guys have fun. Thanks for hanging out. See you.